Guys, look, look what I see. Aww. Oh, look at the little one down here. Oh, she got a little one down here. See, we gotta make sure she doesn't lay on them and kill. See, we gotta make sure she doesn't lay on them and kill them. Like, she's got one under her down there. I don't really touch it right yet. Good girl. Good girl, Lulu. She's tired. Mm hmm. You okay, Bo? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Do you, how many did you count? Uh, She's got a lot of them. A lot of them. They all sucking right now. I'm trying to find something to suck on. But they got them gummy stripes on them. I knew it. She would not leave this spot last night. Your man can't find him a titty. Oh yeah, she's got one under her. She's got a couple under her. Get these babies. Oh my gosh, y'all. I think there's about 10 of them. Yeah, right, she ain't laying on them. They just all trying to find them. Last night I was so worried. I was like, oh my gosh. I said, either she's gonna have these babies or something is wrong. Guys, I am so excited about my Lulu having her babies. And so far, she's been a good mother. Reese's, she's been such a good mom so far. It's okay, Lulu. It's okay. See, I have some, I'm a grandma this morning, <laughs> to 10 beautiful, beautiful little puppies. Mm. So proud of the mama. She's doing a great job of being a mom. really I know I'm always saying this but it is very very true I never get enough sleep but since everything that's been going on I really haven't been getting sleep I don't think I went to sleep until about five o'clock this morning I really should be sleeping now it is 10 41 I've been up since about 10 o'clock this morning so I'll probably be sleeping soon <laughs> or eventually I'll be going back to sleep well I hope that everyone has a lovely lovely day Okay, so we are going to be getting me to the doctor soon. 
Um, it is Saturday and I do have a Saturday appointment today to follow up on my two MRIs that I had last Saturday. So we're trying to um, you know, tie Tyson up on the porch because he's really not feeling <laughs> being back there with Lulu and her puppies. Um, I think Lulu must have told him a thing or two overnight about her babies and um so he's like not really trying to be in her way which is a good thing very good Reese's is the only one that keeps poking around and I'm assuming that that's because Lulu has not had to put him in his place yet that's because we're always around but he's standing back so she's giving him some kind of vibe he's standing back <laughs> he ran back. She's letting him know something. Huh? She's letting him know something. Yes. We already named one of them Houdini because twice already he's tried to get away. And I've already figured out which one I want one of the white ones he's white and gray actually um i want to see which one or i want to actually see if he's um if it's a female or a male i haven't touched them yet because i put lotion on my hands and i don't want to touch her puppies with lotion on my hands so cute so cute I said I didn't want to deal with puppies anymore, but gosh, how do you resist this cuteness? Reese's, bye. Good job. Huh? You know, if you wasn't, if I wasn't out here, Lulu would get in that behind. <laughs> so cute, so cute. So I will let y'all know when I am able to tell if mine is a male or a female. Come on, Reese. Well, this is this a male, Houdini. One of the white ones. I think I keep it as a male. Well, I might keep a baby. I was I was already thinking that I think you're gonna Okay the girls are here to see the puppies Come on. come on come on come on That's why we put Tyson over here because Tyson is like, he does not want to be back there. <laughs> he doesn't fall. You know. Reese's move. Look. <laughs> I know. Let me tell you seen Brenda. I know Brenda Pepper back here. The one up under her. But look at their heads. You can tell those are. Tyson's. See the that like that one up under her? Mm -hmm. That's a brindle. Where? The brown thing? Uh-huh. That's not brindle. That okay, you see this one? You can't, I mean they're so small still, so you can't you see it from here. I wouldn't, sorry you. Oh. That's see that's brindle. Hi guys, it is doctor appointment time. I am on my way to my doctor's appointment um, to see what my MRI is talking about. You get to see if my lower spine is the same, better, worse, what have you. Um, I'm interested in hearing about the thoracic part of my back. Um, earlier on through x-rays, it was looking like 
the middle part of my spine was okay, um, but I was still having a lot of pain, and the doctor was telling me that that could be pain that's radiating from my lower spine. So, you know, time will tell. I mean, we, we'll know. We should be able to know from the MRI, but I, I have a lot of pain in the middle of my back. So, we're going to see about that. So, anywho, wish me luck. And oh, and it is a Saturday, so it's going to be tricky. I already had the doctor's office call and tell me that they're going to call, be calling me back so that they can come and unlock the doors because the building that they're in is actually closed on Saturdays. Usually my doctor's office is closed on Saturdays, but they've been double booked. They've been like just swamped. So, um, you know, that's why they're open today. All right. All right, y'all. My friend D is over here visiting me. Say hi to D. Hey. <laughs> That's my home girl, y'all. I always tell people that look, when you're around me, you got to be ready because I am a YouTube vlogger. <laughs> you will be on YouTube when I'm around. <laughs> what you drinking, D? I'm drinking some a good ass drink. <laughs> I'm gonna just leave it at that. Right. Yeah, we ain't gonna tell y'all all oh, everything. Yeah, we <laughs> ain't gonna tell y'all all the secrets. Like, what's up in, what's in our cup? Just know that it's really good. <laughs> so you, you, so you don't, you don't, you're not gonna want a puppy? Hell no, I don't want no puppy. I live in an apartment. I don't want no puppy until I get into a house. You know what I'm saying? Because they carry and make a mess, and I'm in a church I know. <laughs> Yeah, no, we ain't gonna give you no puppy. <laughs> Thirsty. Well, it makes sense to want your water cold, but <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm kind of weird. All right, y'all. Y'all know I gotta get a food scene in, so <laughs> I always gotta get a food scene in. All right, y'all gotta excuse the table because we got a bunch of mess all over the table, but we really don't care because the aroma of this barbecue was smelling. Uh, the hinges. Yeah, for real. <laughs> So y'all see D's mm -hmm, plate? Mm -hmm, well, what was mm -hmm. on her plate? <laughs> we got some chicken, we got some sirloin steak, some corn and baked potato. And yeah, his is, yeah. <laughs> his is gone. All right, yum, yum, yum. Hello, everybody. Oh, this was a pretty good Sunday happy Sunday <laughs> yeah it's Sunday night I know I didn't do my happy Sunday thing oh, as y'all saw I had company today my friend D was over here Just looking at Tyson we have Tyson out here on the carport um, You know, at night time, we have them on a chain. It's a real long chain. Um, but I shortened it up a little bit so he can't just walk around and, like, harass the neighbor or anything like that. Um, just to make sure that he's not messing with Lulu's puppies overnight. I just, I don't want that. I mean, I don't think she would let him. But that would probably save him. <laughs> as well because she'll probably beat him up pretty bad if he goes over there trying to mess with her her babies so at least until they get a little bit bigger i think he should probably be on the carport overnight because you know overnight he probably just I know he's curious about the puppies and stuff and I don't want one of them to kind of get away from Lulu and then Tyson sees it and she doesn't know because she's preoccupied with the other eight and then you know and some something happens to the puppies because they're so fragile right now so Tyson could be like using you know his paw like to you know try to turn the puppy around you know just to see it not trying to hurt it but they're so fragile so i just don't want anything to happen to them 
But anyways, um, like I said, it ended up being a pretty good um, Sunday, pretty good, decent weekend. I went today, and I mean not today, I went Saturday. I happened to um, get a phone call when I was at my doctor's office um, about putting money down on the apartment. So I did put money down on an apartment for myself. Uh, so I should know about this apartment on Monday. So I did, I did that. Very good move for myself. Um, pretty permanent move. Also, um, just trying to be a civil, you know, um, as we can around here, which is, you know, the way that it should be. And that's, that's really about it so I feel really good about the decision that I'm making um, I asked God to give me the strength that I need I went to sleep that day and when I woke up my thought was to secure that apartment so I did the application over the internet and I got a call the next day and normally they're closed on Saturday that particular apartment complex but they happened the lady called me on Saturday and they happened uh, she said she just happened to be in the office because it's rent time and she got my application and she wanted me to go ahead and secure it with a um, with the deposit and the application fee so I took that and um, so that's what it, what it is. So move-in date is the 20th. So I'm excited about that. And that's what's up. So um, all right, I'll see you guys here soon. Good night, deuces.